Let's play this whole shot here. We are in polish mode. Yeah, it's very cool. I think generally everything is good. I think the framing is good. We're getting a bit top heavy here, but I think it's okay. Still pretty high up. I wonder if you can have a little bit more of a follow because you have movement here when it's not distracting. I think you might be able to push that camera move just a bit. Now, so this is in polish mode. So let me just point out the things that struck me the most. I'm looking at just general body movement before going into fingers and detail stuff. So to me, what stood out was in, especially in this section through here, the head feels a bit IK or head align or head follow, like whatever the controller name is, where once it gets into this position, the whole body starts to kind of float forward. I think you could almost have a bit more of a side to side weight shift since he's taking a long, slower step. But it's just something about how the head just stays very smooth and it feels just all a bit floaty. And then this might just be visually, but here, this might just be an IK arm, but that hand just comes straight towards us, giving this kind of a, it's stuck in screen space, like in height screen space. And you can see how this is moving up, especially through here. You can see all that movement through here, but that arm stays put. So this seems to be an IK arm. Same thing through here, just there. there's a slight rotation in the head this way but overall it just all seems just a bit floaty because of that it's almost like the head is on a gimbal and the head is just so so smooth then the other bigger thing was if you do this i'm not quite sure if i'm seeing any elbow involvement i mean if i look at that line here it does go back a bit but it seems very very isolated in this section i don't feel like that shoulder is really involved and after that, it would involve the chest. And because of that, the head would adjust just a little bit. So this arm movement here seems uh, a bit dislocated there. Here gets a bit better here. I wish there was almost, as you go in here, almost like a slight adjustment in here that would then bring up the shoulder. Just something so it doesn't just feel like the body goes over there. It all, it all seems a bit simple in its move. Because even in the chest, there is no adjustment. Even if that arm goes out and then behind her. And this is a completely random thought. I don't know why. She reminds me of Poison Ivy, the hair, the skin, and the green. Never mind. Disregard that note. <laughs> And I wish that here, there would be just a slight on this. He goes away from her and she has a movement in the head, which is cool. But I almost feel like you could push him down just a bit, a little bit of a squash on the lips. And I know he, tr he tries to be gentle enough to wake her up, but there's something where I think I would push forward a bit. It feels like you get there and then, oh, don't want to go too far into sections and things. And then the head goes back. And I know it's a, it's a bit tricky with the position here, but there's a slight feeling of, and let me see if I can draw this here. If that mouth is here, he gets kind of through there, right? Somewhat, that's somewhat the arc. Let's see if that's still, that's going to stay. And then as you go back, I know it's a bit lower. We're doing kind of a lower arc there, but there's something about him coming back pretty much at the same point. And there's just, there's just a slight A, B feel to Like he starts at A, goes to B, but comes back to A. And I think there's something in Polish lands just to kind of give you a complexity where maybe he gets there 
and then as he's done it might be like he might go a bit up in this where the root goes up a bit maybe pushes himself up a bit and that's where that hand thing comes in and with that shoulder up and then after this he could compress and then kind of when he's here that mouth is actually here the head is lower he kind of decompresses into something lower you know it's almost like he gets there there's some tension the body goes up to not touch her here to not wake her up and then imagine after this he's just so happy and in love that it's almost a sigh where he goes ah because the other thing that happens here is that he goes back and then it's right there there's that he's there's a very harsh stop in his hold and then watch out there's something uh where he seems to be looking a bit here i would have him look a bit lower but imagine like i say it goes more in the upward move upward move there and then when he's done it's that <clears throat> i'm in love side type of thing of ah <sighs> and then that would extend to the shot where again it's a much lower arc in here and then his shoulders could could slump and he could have a bit more of a, a head tilt over either way probably towards her might be visually more interesting i think that that is my thought there i think the rest is cool take a look at this is super picky i don't think it is needed but there's something about him coming in where everything feels very straight on a the line there's not that much up and down and i think again i don't want to change too much but the thought was potentially imagine that hand would be this low and there's a bigger move up and up until here the y move feels almost like stagnant and you can go much broader so it's almost like dun, 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 um, yeah 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 like he's happy he's happy yeah we're going to popcorn and watch a movie and then it's oh <gasps> and then after that he goes you know shoulders up into oh you and then it's a bit more oh let me be quiet so you got that contrast of all right all right <gasps> oh you let's be quiet let's be quiet let's be quiet like these are kind of the, the energy levels that i'm envisioning there and he seems a bit straight floaty coming out there and not by much just a little bit of up and down just give it a bit more happiness in there and a bigger arm move from here to here so it's really drawing our attention which i know it is i mean he comes out like everybody's going to look here but I'm just kind of pushed out a bit more and this is extremely picky and i know he has to hold that ball there's just an ever so slight if you could when that elbow is up here and then goes down just involve that that hand that wrist a bit more there's some sections there and through there and i know you asked to be picky so these are my my super picky notes there's an ever so slight hint of an ik hand which i totally understand why you have it i'm just saying and i know you don't want to bounce around the bowl and rotate too much because it would be too light and too loose it's just a slight feel of IK there. So every time there's movement in the in the elbow up and down, just to kind of involve that wrist up and down as well, just a bit, just as a slight ambient move there. Polish stuff would be to me when you see a hand like this. Well, this is cool, but if I look at the other one, to me it would be if he brings this up. There might be a bit more tension. I will press the fingers in and maybe bring them in a bit more for that tension. And then here it seems like it comes off the bowl, but it will probably two or three frames, two or three frames earlier start changing the the finger, <clears throat> the pose on the fingers there. Like the index could come off and curl a bit, and it's not just a roll off, just a bit more finger involvement there. Which is again super picky because once you get to here, <coughs> excuse me, I should pause before I cough. Got nice triangle poses there, because <clears throat> you nice little politi politician pose there. <laughs> but you got nice changes there. All of that is really nice. You got interaction there on the cloth 
for the blanky. That's all cool. Now, <clears throat> that being said, this seems harsh. How those fingers hit her cheek. Boom. I would actually, that's where I would ease in and really be gentle with that. This is cool. That's nice too. It's ever so slight floatiness through there. I would probably go from here and then speed up. And by speeding up, I mean maybe two or three frames cutting out of there. This is cool. There's some really nice stuff there with the compression and adjusting the fingers. It's very nice. Uh, here, from here to here. And I, I again, I understand why you're doing it. It just has this feeling of it's the wrist is curved in and then comes out while the elbow is kind of staying put. And I know this is tricky to do, but again, it's just, it has that slight IK feel of a very independent wrist compared to the elbow. So to me, it's just, I think it's the visual of as you bring out that wrist or the fingers out with the hand out, that wrist comes kind of in. If you see this, it's super subtle, but there's again, a slight IK feel to it. And probably also reacting and probably more so than that, that straight line through there. That the timing is a bit even, it just all floats a bit like that straight path, the floatiness, a little thing on the wrist gives it again a bit of a, an IK feel. The drop is nice though. There's a bit of a pop. Again, you're asking for pickiness here, right there. Beep, beep. That how it stops. Seems like you're hitting a constraint or just it could roll a bit. Not that it has to go wiggle there, but just a bit softer. Careful when you relax and you bring up that arm. Again, it has that feeling of there are two things. A, it just goes straight up. And I don't see much of a wrist, a wrist, a shoulder involvement with a bit of a chest over this way. Even if it's subtle, it just has a bit of a dislocated feel of only this is moving. And the other thing is it's slightly unfortunate in its silhouette. It has a slight bend this way, but there's an overall feel of bending away from camera where if he brings down his arm and goes like that, you might be able to bring out that arm out this way instead of up like that it would be a bit more up this way so that your your bends will be a bit more pronounced there's a slight bending away from camera that gives us this weird foreshortening silhouette there on that arm but this is the bigger issue there the ik arm floating towards us I wonder if you might be doing too much Y rotation the hips right there. There's something weird about seeing so much in Y, but this line here stays put. Where I would be expecting more changes like that. And by more, I mean, you know, like 10, 15%, just a bit more. Might just be something in the enveloping. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this geometry is independent from this, if this is a separate piece, uh, geom piece, I'm not quite sure, but there's there's something just feeling where it's very isolated in Y rotation, but nothing uh, in Z, if that's your Z axis there. Glasses are cool. This is a bit of an IK head. If you scrub through here, you can see how you basically just go straight up. There's no rotational complexity in there. I think which I think you could push that. You could almost just favor a little bit of a tilt this way because he's holding the glasses there. Not that he's pulling his head down here, but it would be very subtle. So that when you go, it's a slightly more tilted this way, 
And when he goes up here, he readjusts to that line. So you have a bit of a rotation, back rotation this way. So it's just some rotation is involved there, not just a straight up and down. And speaking of up and down, your eyebrows, it's tricky because this is hiding it, but I have a slight feel that this whole structure is moving. And what's what's a bit funky is that it, the the lid here comes down and is very in sync and twinned with that brow. The amount of upper lid coming down is almost the same as the as the eyebrow. I would decouple that a little bit and I would make sure that this side of the brow is barely moving. I would use that for some fleshiness and concentrate all the movement on here and this middle part fading out with almost nothing here. And this just feels like the whole thing goes up. And then timing wise, it, it's a bit harsh in its stop. Foo. Right there. Foo. So I would ease into that a bit more and you can almost go up, 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 really subtle ease into this whole thing and then relax down a bit through here. Cause he dies a bit through here. I see something in the lids, but in terms of the face, he goes, hmm. And then it's just kind of dead. And I think a little bit of a another move in here not to throw out the cliche eye dart or something, but some life. It feels a bit dead. But I think it would help. Just the complexity and the rotations. It's not just the translate through here. Decoupling this would also help. Yeah, just mechanics-wise. It's not so... Separate it through there. I would personally reduce your lower lids. You have some lower lid there and lower lid there. I would just keep that in the upper lids. To me, the lower lids are uh, a function from squashing through there or a very specific squint. But there's something where I see it bobbing right through there. It seems a bit involuntary. Watch out your head rotation this way and in Y. It's a bit harsh there. It's tricky because it's so slow and soft and it has that sudden stop. That's nice though. I like that. Relaxing through there. That's cool. I like all this. Ooh, yeah. That one's definitely harsh. Right there, that stop. I think that's it. Of course, you would have to animate all of these guys separately moving there. <laughs> it's really cool. Again, because it's so good. I'm, I'm being super picky. And you asked me to be picky. So these are kind of the things that if you have time to noodle some of the things I would do, I'm going to be so extremely picky that that lower side of that glass is forming a tangent there with that line. I will bring that glass back so that it's a bit higher and we see the stem a bit. I know this is extremely ridiculously picky and stupid. It's just me. And I will probably either move it here or here so that we don't we don't crowd this silhouette there. Again, super picky. But why not? Why not? And for her, I mean she has I didn't quite look at her. She's got a breathing. <laughs> I like that. It's got a little bit of a <laughs> That's cool. That reaction there, you could probably. I wonder if you want to play with, again, I would soften that impact there. But once you do that, that she might have a little bit of a, or like a little bit of a twitch there, or maybe the eyebrows twitch or the lids or something. Might be too much. I'm not saying do it, but something to consider. Maybe you can find something in there where she has a little bit of a reaction. Uh, something in there. And then it's there's quite a structure in the jaw. And this seems very isolated where it's really just the jaw. I would have that nose tip go from here to maybe here. Just a bit more involved in the head so it doesn't feel like this, this dead skeleton. 
Like that is nice here where you have the jaw go down and there's fleshiness in the cheek and the nose. Whereas here, I don't feel it at all. It's a little bit of an scrub, but I think you can push like the whole head up a bit. Because he's pushing her up and it's still, I mean, it's, there's still some structure and muscle there. That's all cool. Yeah. I think that is it. It's very, very cool. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Well, could be also nice. And this is super picky again. I will probably, to be honest, just take that clock, bring it up. So there's no, no dark shade there crowding this moment. I know this is super picky. I know. Uh, hear me out. I would just take that out. Let's bring it up a bit higher. And it would be really cool if you just put in whatever light, direction light or spotlight, whatever you have, to give him a bit of a, a rim backlight. So there might be, you know, it comes from the kitchen maybe, and there's a kitchen light in there so that it gives him just a bit more of a highlight visually and, and everything else. Just because, I mean, you know, it is darker and, and lighter here. It's okay in terms of a color silhouette, but I think it could be a nice moment just to really have him... Um, be separated from that background a bit more. And I give him, you know, a nice little little accents through there. And then as you get in here, you have stuff here because of the TV and because it seems like a, a you know a lamp shape coming down there. So you got you got light there, which is nice. I think everything in here is great. And that's it. I keep saying that's it, but I think that's it. All right, that's from me so far. Um, any other notes, let me know. We can email back and forth what you think and what you want to address. You can do another round with this clip or not. Totally up to you. Uh, but I'm going to sign off now. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.